Hey, boys and girls. It's time for Uncle Jay Explains the News. Now here's the guy who helps little minds understand big news stories, Uncle Jay. Hi, boys and girls. Once again, a lot of the week's news isn't really new. It's, uh, it's looking back to, um, you're never going to guess this, the 60s. Actually, some other historic things are showing up in the news, too. And so, Uncle Jay's news word for this week is retro. Retro means to look backwards, and the news really likes to do this, to give us some perspective and to give them three easy minutes to fill. For instance, it's the 40th anniversary of Woodstock, the world's first giant rock concert and the last without overpriced tickets. Hundreds of thousands of people who were young then and think they still are now gathered to sing songs about peace and love. Young Uncle Jay wasn't there, but sometimes he tells people he was. N nobody else ever does that. Now, another retro event in the news is about this guy, Charles Manson. He arranged some terrible murders just a few days before the peace and love of Woodstock, and the news just loves to compare and contrast things like that. Plus, the very same day as the Manson murders, this famous photograph was being taken in London. Now, the media might throw all these things together because they've got to keep their story short because uh, the Michael Jackson autopsy could be released at any moment. Well, something else in the news that's a throwback to the more distant past is Adolf Hitler. Now, everybody's supposed to hate him, but he seems to be your best friend whenever you want to criticize anything without trying very hard. President Obama's health care campaign is the latest thing to be compared to Hitler. But really, boys and girls, it's a very long tradition that people just like to do or, or to condemn, depending on who's in power. Just go and pour on that Hitler whenever you want to spread it on nice and thick. And by the way, a recent variation of this idea is Obama being portrayed as the evil joker, which was just as clever this year as this was last year. Maybe next year he'll be portrayed as one of those um, uh, Deceptibot Transformicons. And now it's time. To answer one of your news questions, this week it comes from Bill in Port Orchard, Washington. Hi, Bill. Bill writes, Dear Uncle Jay, do we really need the new Supreme Court justice? Maybe it's time to downsize government like businesses are doing. Shouldn't we cut back on all government jobs, even the famous ones? Thanks, Bill. Well, that's an interesting suggestion. So, so let's say the Supreme Court has nine seats. Maybe if we're patient, we can get Congress down to that. And, and then we can move them to a call center in New Delhi where our calls will be very important to them. Don't forget, you can see more at www.UncleJExplains.com. Check back every Monday when Uncle Jay explains the news. And remember, a great kid is great news. Great news.